This is Stitch Fabric and Thread by Elizabeth Healy. And I have to admit, it's a really interesting book to read through. Let me just have a flick through through the opening pages and you'll see what I mean. Elizabeth likes to use some really unusual materials to sew with. And the idea from the whole book is to give you the ideas, to give you a little bit of a nudge, to give you inspiration, so that you can then go forward and make your own creations and use your own imagination. She takes you right back to the beginning, so before you even start sewing, um, what the different types of materials are, the kind of tools that you're going to need to get started, um, what is thread, what is fabric and even how does a sewing machine work. So there's some very useful in, um, information in here that you can use going forward as well. Colour I know can be quite difficult for a lot of people to understand the way that the different colours will work together. So there's quite a comprehensive guide in here as to the use of colour and choosing colour. Um, and, and even dyeing, you know, creating your own colour. And this is really interesting because she's using tea and tea gives a really lovely, almost like a sepia, a vintage kind of look. But there's some things in here I would never have thought of. Um, even with stitching, who would have thought of stitching with plastic bags? Not, not something that I've ever done, but it creates such a lovely textural effect. Working with tension, so this is just a hand stitch, but Elizabeth actually pulled some of the threads through so that they're looser. So again, you've got dimension, you've got texture with some of your work. Um, lots of different ways of creating, not just texture, but different kind of designs and looks. Even working on paper with just a straight running stitch can create something that's really very unusual. Now Elizabeth trained as a graphic designer originally, but she's always been making things from cloth, from paper, and even clay. And she tries to use wherever possible recycled fabrics, and that really comes out in the book, as you can see. So you have all the step-by-steps to the techniques. And as I said earlier, the idea is that you use all of these to create your own projects, but there are projects in, in here as well. But look at the diversity. We've got um, New York type of letters, we've got African masks, using beads, using threads, using cords even to create some, some beautiful designs. I've seen this kind of thing before, the string theory. That takes me right back to the, the 1970s. I used to do that as a child. So let's have a quick flick through and we'll show you some of the some more of the ideas. I think it's one of those books that you'll use as a coffee table book because it's interesting. It's interesting to learn the history of some of these um, designs and the stitches, where they came from, where they got their names and all that kind of thing. A little hula girl look. <laughs> um, and there aren't too many actual projects, it's all about the techniques. But as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, oh now, that would make a beautiful quilt. I don't make an awful lot of quilts, I make a lot of bags. But that would make a lovely bag, whether it's a tote or a cosmetic bag. And if you needed to add trim, if you want to add texture, if you've got a plain fabric and you just, well, I need something that little bit different, there's things in here that I'm looking at thinking, that would look lovely, just maybe one piece across the top of a bag that I'm making. So although I think a lot of the time when, certainly when I'm looking at, at books like this um, that have been written by artists, and I do consider Elizabeth to be a fabric artist, I think oh, I, I could never do that because I'm not that artistic. I, I don't think I'd be able to achieve the same kind of look that Elizabeth's achieving. But as I'm looking through this book and I'm seeing th the simple step-by-step -step instructions and the wonderful fabrics and threads that she's using, I'm kind of thinking, you know, I can. I think I, I could incorporate this style of stitching and sewing into a lot of the things that I make. I don't think it's the kind of book that you're going to read once. I think it's going to be a reference, so you're going to come back time and time again. And I just love the idea that one book, so many different styles of threads, so much inspiration, and so easy to follow and so interesting as well. I really think you're going to enjoy reading this book and making those projects as much as I have.